Hi, this is question 6 from the AQA Further Pure 1 January 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to see if you can try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go at the bits that you can do. Okay, why don't you manage to have a go? For the next part of the video, I'm going to give you some hints as to how you can go about answering your question. So, um, starting with part A, we've got the matrix defined by this here, and we're given that x squared is equal to this here. We want to find the value of m. So, a useful thing to do here would be to actually write out um, this matrix times by this matrix again, and, and do your matrix multiplication. For part 2, um, you need to show that x cubed take away 7x is equal to ni, where i is the identity matrix. So, um, you will have found x squared at this stage, so you can multiply x squared by x, um, and that will give you the x cubed part. And then we want to take away 7 lots of this um, matrix here. So you want to write down what 7 lots of this matrix here is. And then if you do one take away the other, you should get um, a matrix that's going to be the identity matrix, sorry, a multiple of the identity matrix. Okay, part B, um, you're given this matrix here as matrix A, um, and we first of all want to describe the geometrical transformation represented by A. So what you can see here, that this is similar to the identity matrix, but this um, here, or our Y component, um, looks like it's become negative. So um, decide what that's going to tell you as a transformation if, if our y um, coordinate becomes negative. Part 2, the matrix B represents an anticlockwise rotation through 45 degrees about the origin. We want to show that um, our matrix B is equal to a um, k times by this matrix here where k is a third. So um, what you might want to do for this question is use this from your formula book um, and decide um, what, well, um, if it's a rotation through 45 degrees anticlockwise, um, decide what values you need to put into this and then see if you can make it um, look the same as this here where k is a third. Part 3 says find the image of the point negative 1, 2 under an anti-clockwise rotation through 45 degrees about the origin, which is basically what you found in B, followed by the transformation represented by A. So we've got B followed by A. So which order do we need to find the product of those matrices in? If we then write this in, in vector form, we should be able to multiply um, the three things together to find out where the image of this point is going to be. Okay, those are my tips. If you now um, like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at the question yourself. Okay, I'm now going to go over the answers um, to the question. So, um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get rid of that for the time being and I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room to play in. Okay, right, so, um, starting with A, okay, we're well, given that um, x squared is equal to this, we want to find the value of m, so what I suggested that we do is we write this out in full, And this is basically what x squared is going to be. And that's going to be equal to. Okay, so um, we can start off by saying well, I want row 1 times by column 1. So that's going to be 1 times 1, which is 1. Um, and then. 2 times 3 which is 6 so 1 plus 6 
and although the rest of the solutions here I'm just going to quickly go through this so we've then got this one here which is going to be row 1 times column 2 so um, that's going to be one times two which is two plus two times zero which is zero so that's going to be two plus zero and etc so that's going to be three and that's going to be six okay so um, that tells us that um, we've got seven two three six and m is going to be equal to 7. OK, part 2. OK, we want to show that x cubed take away 7x is equal to ni. So um, I know what x squared is. So x cubed is going to be equal to, and it's going to be x squared, which is 7, 3, to 6 times by uh, x which is 1 3 2 0 and that is going to be equal to and again we can multiply um, these out so that's going to be um, we're going to start with um, row 1, column 1, so that's going to be 7 times 1, which is 7, plus 2 times 3, which is 6, and then we've got row 1 times by column 2 over here, so this will be row 1, column 2, so 7 times 2, which is 14. plus 2 times 0 which is 0 and then over here we've got row 2 column 1 so row 2 times by column 1 and we've got 3 times 1 which is 3 um, plus 6 times 3 which is 18 and finally over here we've got row 2 column 2 so we'll have row 2 again times by column 2 and this time we've got 3 times 2 which is 6 plus and we'll have 6 times 0 which is 0 ok um, so x cubed is in fact going to be equal to and that's going to be 13 21 and 14 and 6 ok and 7x is the other thing that we want to know so 7x well that's going to be equal to 7 times x which is going to be um, 1 time 7 times 1 is 7 7 times 3 is 21 7 times 2 is 14 and 7 times 0 is 0 okay so we can now and I'll come over here okay we now want x cubed take away 7x and that's going to be equal to 13 21 14 6 Take away seven twenty one fourteen zero. And that's going to be equal to what well, thirteen take away seven is six. Fourteen take away fourteen is zero. Twenty one take away twenty one is zero. Six take away zero is six. Uh, and that's actually equal to six times my identity matrix. My, my identity matrix is going to be 1001 and this is 6 lots of that so I can say that's equal to 6i 
So therefore, for our question here, um, we have written, we've shown that this is um, can be written in the form of n times by the identity matrix, and n is six. Okay, part B. Okay, part B. It is given that A is one zero zero negative one. We want to describe the geometrical transformation represented by A. And if you have a quick look, we can see that um, our y coordinate has become negative, um, which means that this must be a reflection in the x axis. Okay, so, um, so that's reflection in the x-axis. Part two, um, we want we want the matrix B represents an anticlockwise rotation through forty-five degrees about the origin, and we want to show that B is equal to K um, times by that matrix there, where K is a third. So what we need first of all is um, our formula from our formula book. And we could substitute 45 degrees into here because this tells us an anti-clockwise rotation, which is what we're looking for. So that's going to be the cosine of 45 degrees. Um, and I'm just going to write this straight down actually. So V is going to be equal to, um, and the cosine of 45 degrees is going to be 1 over root 2. And the sine of 45 degrees is also going to be 1 over root 2. And then over here we're going to have minus 1 over root 2. And over here we're going to have 1 over root 2. Um, look like that. Okay, um, and that's going to be equal to, um, and that's just 1 over root 2 is a common factor of this. So I can take that outside. Um, and that's going to be 1, 1, negative 1, and 1. 1, negative 1, and 1. Okay, um, and I'm just going to um, clear that out there because that looks like I've put a negative sign there, which I haven't. Okay, right, so um, our value of k is 1 over root 2, which is a third, so I'm happy. Part three. Okay, so we want to find the image of this point here under an anticlockwise rotation of four, of forty-five degrees, which is basically what we work this out to be. Followed by the transformation, the transformation represented by A, and because we want B followed by A, um, we need to work out what A times b is and then we would then multiply that by the position vector negative 1 2 um, so, so that's what we're aiming to work out now um, remember this is b followed by a and, and we do it in this order so a or matrix a is um, 1 0 0 negative 1 and b is what we've found over here. So it's 1 over root 2, um, 1, 1, negative 1, 1. I'm going to take this 1 over root 2 and I'm going to put it over here. Um, and then I'm going to the matrix over here. Um, and then we need to times that by our point negative 1, 2. OK, so. Um, working this out then, um, we'll keep the 1 over root 2 here for the time being and we'll multiply these two matrices together. Um, so I'm just going to do this quite quickly and um, that's going to be 1, negative 1, negative 1, and negative 1. That's going to be negative one two. 
Okay, um, and that's going to be equal to, and I'll leave the 1 over root 2 there again for the time being, and that's going to be 1 times negative 1 plus negative 1 times 2, so that's going to be negative 3, and this one here is going to be 1 negative 2, so that's going to be negative 1. Okay, so and and we can write that as um, well, it's three over root two and minus one over root two. Right there you go. So um, so that's going to be the point, um, the image of the point P. Um, and I can just finally write my solution, the image of the point P, um, and we'll give it as coordinates, will be negative 3 over root 2, and negative 1 over root 2. And there you go. Okay, um, I hope you found that useful. Um, thanks very much for joining me, and I'll see you again soon.